So I'm going to demonstrate how to upload photos extremely quickly to the Bitcoin SV blockchain. Uh, but before I do, do so, I'm just going to show off the fact that uh, yesterday we were able to fill a 113 megabyte size block. This is the largest block in history. Um, it consists almost entirely of photos that I took in San Francisco on just a place called Potrero Hill, which is just a hill. And I've got sort of, here's just the list of photos that I took. They're somewhat random because I took 1.4 gigabytes of photos and some of them are good. Unfortunately, the photos that ended up being inside the 113 megabyte block are extremely random. Uh, and not the best photos, but that's how it is. Uh, it proves the concept though that uh, basically by swiping money button 1200 times in a short period, I was able to produce a large block, the largest block ever in history. And so there's a bit more information here about what happened, exa uh, uh, what happened exactly. So the block was mined by CoinGeek. Um, you can go check it out on uh, whatsonchain.com and see the contents of that block. Um, so that's it. Now let me show you how you can upload files extremely quickly. And if you want to, you can replicate uh, what I did and produce your own block that's extremely large. So over the past couple of weeks, we've been able to fix a number of scaling problems with Money Button. Uh, we did a stress test last Sunday that revealed some issues. I then kept personally testing, uploading more photos and encountering more issues. We've basically fixed every major scaling problem inside Money Button itself. And so there's basically nothing stopping you from uh, uh, you know, uploading large data to the blockchain now. The user uh, experience is still not ideal and we're aware of that, but it is possible to do it and it's possible to do it very, very quickly. So if you visit moneybutton.com slash UTXO, um, you can use our new split tool. And basically if you want to upload a large amount of data, you should split your UTXOs first. Now you don't need to keep splitting them, it kind of depends on how much money you have. But you have 100 kilobytes per UTXO, and if you want to be able to spend a whole bunch of them quickly, like if you want to upload lots of data, uh, you basically need one UTXO per 100 kilobytes. So if you want to upload one megabyte, that's 10 100 kilobytes, you basically need 10 UTXOs. If you want to upload 10 uh, uh, megabytes, then you need basically 100 UTXOs. If you want to upload 100 megabytes, you need 1,000 UTXOs. And this just allows you to spend your UTXOs one after the other. Each UTXO does need uh, enough money to actually create a 100 kilobyte op return. So there's no point in doing it if you don't have enough money in each UTXO. So in order to upload, say, 100 megabytes, will cost about 7 US cents per uh, uh, per uh, uh, output or per like sort of chunk, so that means it's going to cost something like let's see if it's a if it's a if it's one hundred sorry if it's seven cents per one hundred kilobytes, so it's seventy cents per megabyte. So it would be about seventy dollars if it's one hundred megabytes. So uploading a hundred megabytes, which would be like a, a bunch of high resolution photos, would cost about seventy dollars. So just be aware of that. It does, of course, cost money, and you need to have enough money and enough UTXOs to actually be able to upload your data. So if you visit add.bico.media, you can uh, drag and drop. Before I do that, though, let me show you. We do have a blog post with explicit instructions on how to do this. So check out this blog post here with another video uh, that explains how to do it in step-by-step in -step detail. And basically the trick here, the part that we hasn't, haven't made user-friendly yet, is that you do need enough UTXOs uh, and you need to sort of do that beforehand uh, if you want this to actually work reliably. Now I have 2,000 UTXOs. So I have more than enough uh, UTXOs. I could up upload up to something like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of megabytes. Let's see if it's, if it's 100, uh, let's see, 100, I think I could upload like, gigabytes of data if I if I did the math correctly. So 200, if I had 2,000 UTXOs, that would be 100 kilobytes per UTXO. So that would allow me to do, uh, let's see, with 2,000 of them, with 1,000 would be like 100 megabytes. Uh, so I could do two, uh, uh, two 
uh, 100 megabytes if, I, if I'm doing the math correctly. So I think I would be able to basically, in a single block, I could upload 200 megabytes, which of course is actually bigger than uh, what would actually fit in a block. But in any case, I know that I have more than enough money and uh, I have like 4,000 USD or something like that and 2,000 UTXOs. So I have plenty of money and plenty of uh, uh, UTXOs. So the other thing that we did recently is not only did we fix scaling problems, we actually implemented something called uh, multi-swipe in Money Button, uh, which is the ability to swipe the button many times at the same time if you have more than one UTXO. So I'm going to demonstrate uploading this photo that I took of, of Potrero Hill the other day. And so I just drag it in here, add.bico.media. Again, I've already set this up, so if you want to do this, make sure you split your UTXOs first. So it will load here, and it loads reasonably quickly. Um, now after it loads, I'm going to scroll through here uh, and look at all these buttons here. And I'm, gonna, I'm starting at the bottom because of the way that this page works. It, it drops the buttons, and I can go more quickly if I do it at the bottom. But I'm just going to begin. I can begin swiping here, and I can swipe a bunch of them at the same time. So here we go. In order to upload this photo, I have to do this 42 times. So the UI is still not ideal. It's a little bit annoying that the buttons move and then I have to scroll upwards from the bottom to do it this way, but it does work. And I am able to swipe many buttons at the same time, which allows me to do this very, very quickly. So this photo is 3.9 megabytes. And these are chunks that are something slightly less than um, 100 kilobytes per chunk. And when I swipe the button, it's spending different UTXOs each time, which is why I can reliably swipe the button uh, sort of over and over. Look, I accidentally canceled it because... Uh, so there's a, a bit of like slowness in... Basically, when you're signing the transactions and swiping at the same time, there's a bit of a sort of glitchiness that has to do with everything single-threaded uh, single there. Uh, so anyway, we'll fix the UI, but for now, it, you can swipe multiple buttons. And so there you go. I just uploaded a 3.9 megabyte photo and... We'll give Bico.media. It may or may not load right away here. I, I don't know if I want to wait a long time. It takes a little while for the, for the transaction to reliably propagate through the network. Not every node actually sets data carrier size equals 100,000. If you are running a node, please be sure you set data carrier size equals 100,000 so that you can help relay these transactions. It's really annoying that not every node does it. So this will show up here shortly. I'll post a link. I'm sure by the time you watch this video, it will be live on Bico.media. Uh, let me just show everyone the photo that I posted here. It's this wonderful photo of a car here that's for sale. Um, if you want to buy this car, there it is. Read that phone number and uh, buy this car from this person. This one's for sale. It's a nice looking car. It has a nice paint job. Uh, you should buy that. All right, so that's a demonstration of uploading data to the blockchain very, very quickly with parallel swipe money button and that's all you have to do and you just have to have enough money and enough UTXOs and you can do it right now and you can easily fill your own 100 megabyte size block if you want to by swiping money button. I was able to fill a 113 megabyte size block by swiping money button 1200 times in like a few minutes. I just swiped as quickly as I could and filled an entire block, 113 megabytes. So we'll do another stress test soon. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to have a, 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 a blockchain photo contest um, to, uh, you know, we'll give out a prize for whoever uploads the, the, the uh, best photo on the blockchain. All right, I'm not going to wait for this thing to finish uploading, so I'll just provide a link in the YouTube video. And that's it. Please have fun uploading data extremely quickly with parallel swipe money button. And now that we fix all the scaling problems, it works quite reliably.